Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Gemini, for the energies of the full moon uh, of November. Um, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. You have a nasty little group of cards that have come out here, but do not be discouraged. <laughs> because although this is bad, it ends very well. So uh, stay with me here if this sounds like your story. Um, here, in this connection, let's, let's look here first. Um, the other person, okay? Somebody, somebody was deceptive here. So the other person... Um, may have you in their thoughts or this could be vice versa but i feel that um i feel that somebody here got deceived in a connection or felt that they were deceived somebody lied about something and the other person did not see it coming <clears throat> didn't expect it they felt stabbed in the back uh their heart got broke some sort of news that came out unexpectedly that involved a deception but clearly um all of the information is has not been given or somebody does not have all of the information um, surrounding that deception. Uh, a news again that somebody's missing information and it has to do with a deception and an opportunity that someone is reaching for. Now, it could be, mm, or that they were reaching for. An opportunity that they were reaching for that was deceptive in some way. But it's like maybe uh, someone suspects deception but does not really have the proof or maybe it is born from gossip gossip perhaps that began with this person Many people on the scene, possible gossip that caused this conflict. This may have been um, a fairly new relationship. I don't feel that it was something long term. Someone may have made a bad choice or um, thought they were getting into a relationship that they felt had a lot of potential but now uh, in hindsight may feel as though they made a bad choice because they're of this deception or what they feel may have been a deception again I feel that I get this Eight of Swords energy here where you see that person, he comes in to picks up one of these swords that was imprisoning her and cuts the binds or the binding from her. So he has given or that there is some information that has been cleared up or um, at least one thing has been cleared up, but there are still others here. Uh, 
a bad choice that brought about an ending, um, possibly with someone you thought had long-term potential. Now, there is a healing that is in question here. There is a reconciliation here for whatever is going on here. This person could possibly come back um, to leave an offer um, on your doorstep, at your feet, however you want to look at that, but they, they bring forth an offer. Because here I'm looking at the picture, they leave, the, the offer is left at the queen's feet and she's uh, reaching for it. Um, this eight of coins is about meeting somebody halfway, but like, um, you know, will they put the effort? Um, so you, you could, if this is the other person who um, was deceptive, that you feel was deceptive, um, you are willing to talk about it, to get your information because uh, you're not sure about how this person actually feels. You're sure of how you feel, but you're not sure about how they feel. You want a new, uh, a new opportunity with this person. But we see at your back, we have the sun just beginning to rise, meaning that, you know, uh, there could have been a loss of hope or optimism here. Um, Eight of Cups, this person is in the relationship, but uh, stays, but is not emotionally fulfilled. So I feel as though you're not sure about how that person feels about you and do they really want this um, commitment. You could be being very careful because as of yet you don't really know which foot to stand on so it's like you play your cards close to your chest with this. You're, um, you may be hiding these emotions also because you're feeling um, you're not grounded with regards to a decision as to whether to um, extend your hand um, because, you know, what if that person betrays me again? But I don't feel that you have all of the proof is what I feel. It's like um, you suspect or you've heard things or you saw things and has made assumptions but maybe don't have actual solid proofs because you're missing information. So do I extend my hand or do I, you know, just dump the offer and move on? <clears throat> Which I don't feel that you really want to do. Um, you're struggling here uh, with regards to um, forward movement. Uh, a lot of fears that you need to put an end to um, if you, you know, with regards to this um, Ace of Cups here, that's on offer. So obviously this person is, is they come back in There is a healing to this. The tower is coming in. So there's some sort of revelation that this person, obviously, where's that? Where's that card? Uh, it's here. There is a revelation that this person comes to you, that brings to you, that will help to heal the heart, you see. The swords are now falling out. This tower brings in a positive change and a new beginning, the ending of an old cycle, which is this. And here we have a rather fantastic outcome here. Your Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups brings it in and you're able to move it, you have reached the calmer shores. So you were able to go from the choppy waters to 
calmer waters. So we know that this has a very positive outcome. So whatever happened back here gets cleared up. And this relationship moves forward. Now, yeah, we see here, this is, this, this, uh, I didn't read these cards, but this is waiting on news uh, from someone in despair. Okay, this is how you are back here. A lot of concern occupying, um, your thoughts is this connection because you thought it, it had that long-term um, uh, potential and then something happened but it does believe me this is moving forward you cannot be any more clear or positive than what I see here now listen ghost lens is your overall advice it's telling you that you can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in the here and now. The future has no substance right now. It is a place that has no grounding as of yet. You cannot live there. Yet you can take steps towards that goal or that dream. And the same goes for nostalgia. You can look into the past and you can remember beautiful moments or revisit lessons learned, but you cannot live there. Nor can you go back and change what was. Yesterday is gone forever. So live fully in the present, in the now. The now is the most powerful place to put your intention. It's magic reaches far and wide, farther than the heart and soul, farther than the heart and soul can see. Right now you have a, an uncomfortable energy around you. You have the storm fields in the reverse. Things that you left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Pent up energy needs release just as a storm in nature must break, creating temporary disorder. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and another will benefit you later, even if you do not see it now. Know that the sun will shine again and that new growth will be observed and we see it here in your outcome. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. I wish you all the best and many blessings to you.